All right, everybody, welcome back. Our last video is here, and it is called Jibri's Mom Isn't Comfortable with Miona Style, 90 Day Fiance. Now, I wonder what this is about because in the last clip I saw with them like FaceTiming last week, I think it was. Oh, excuse me. Um, she seemed like just regular, like didn't seem that crazy, but let's see what this is about. That's and what we're here for. It might um, be like to have the conversation with Miona about the way she dresses. Well, right? She's not going to be naked, Ma. Oh, I see. She's exposing too much. Well, some of those pictures, she's kind of just about naked. When you are a guest in someone's home, then you respect what makes everybody more comfortable. I don't know. Gino wouldn't take his hat off during prayer, so... I'm not saying that she needs to cover up all the time at all. But based on what we have seen on social media about Miona. I mean, I feel like this seems normal now for a lot of people. But this is like it's all new, you know what I mean? So I can totally see why her mom would think this is way too much. Um, especially for her generation, but like this is this is what people post on He's Instagram, well, women's but and guys. To I don't say just women, but and guys, guys will like post their own thirst trap too, showing off their like abs and stuff. So like, I mean, I uh, I don't know, I don't know what to make of it because yeah, it's a lot, especially for somebody like her mom. But at the same time, like if that's what she wants to do, that's her prerogative. And uh, a lot of other men and women, or women and men, post attention stuff like this. That I think would be sexual attention. That makes me uncomfortable. I like his mom's glasses, and though. I feel like I need. Look at and, them. And, ah! and I feel like I need comfortable. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> and I feel Not like I need to have this conversation. Come on, let me explain this for you. The half-naked pictures on Instagram and everything that you're seeing, that's a persona, but that's not the person that you're gonna meet. She likes to wear revealing clothes just like I like wearing crazy colorful clothes, so. I wanna make sure. Yeah, I'm like, I don't think that's gonna matter to uh, G Bree's mom, like. That she's respectful in our house. Is well, that okay? if she's concerned, well, that's interesting, because it sounds like she's just concerned of like, she just doesn't want her dress like that in her house, which I guess is, I mean, it's a bit controlling, but it's a bit more reasonable, you could say, I guess, because it's not like judging her for doing that period. It's just, she's just saying she doesn't want her dress like that in her house, so. Mm. Yes. Okay. It's still a bit controlling, but it's like, it's her house, and she sees it as a respect thing. Mm. It's strange for me know. having my mom talk to me about <laughs> Miona and trying to control the way she dresses. When my mom considers herself a feminist, my mom's from Portland, Oregon, and grew up going to nude beaches with my grandma. And I that is weird. Is if she's like super feminine, like those are the glasses. They look kind of cool. If she's super feminist and like herself, what goes to nude beaches, and she thinks that it's chill, it's kind of interesting. Maybe because it's her son, and she still sees it in a negative light. And she, but I don't know. It's just the house, so she seems. We'll see. We'll see. But it seems like she's cool with it, so long as it's not in her house why she's starting to be Let's a little bit more out. conservative and i think what she maybe there's more to it doing is she's kind of testing miona with the modesty <laughs> to see if she'll be respectful and see if she can fit in with my family so i hope miona doesn't insult my mom and i hope my mom doesn't upset miona because i don't want to be in the middle of this how will we go about talking with her about that how are you doing with communication with her ah that's gonna be tough right if his mom addresses it to her, she's gonna be like, what the F? Like, it's none of your business, lady, or whatever. But, you know, like, especially because they haven't really, I don't think they met. So if they meet the first time and that's like one of the topics of discussion, that's gonna be kind of rough. And it's just no way to go about it because then if he brings it up, she's gonna wonder, well, why do you care? Like, you know me, you met me online. You, what are you talking about? And then if he says, oh, because my mom, that's right there, it's like, bam. Okay, so now we have an issue with, your mom, whatever. I don't know, but we'll see. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. Because mm. I'm just saying that's just additional to the other problems of like 
how she wants to be in LA and all this other stuff and not in, I forget what they li- where they live. I think they just mentioned it, but just another issue. Watched you on FaceTime, right? And you and Miona were like having a disagreement and she um, called you stupid in front of me. That's probably more disrespectful than being revealing, right? Right. And was starting to yell at you. So I want to know, like... I think there's something to be said there for, like... um, Maybe I'm wrong, but, like, maybe, like, finding uh, that it's a little disrespectful to be arguing in front of, like, parents, you know, like, your own parents or even family or whatever. Or even in public, really. I mean, maybe that's a little bit more of a stretch, but, like, to be name-calling in front of other people is kind of disrespectful to, like, the people that you're with. I'm family. trying to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Her. Is that how it's going to be? Because if it is, that's... I don't know these people. <clears throat> I don't know Miona, but that's kind of a stretch, right? To, like, depending on what the issue was, let's say uh, Gbri and Miona are having a, a, an argument, and it's, I think it's kind of a stretch to say, like, well, Gbri called you, or Miona called you stupid, so she didn't call me stupid. It's going to be a problem. But who knows? Maybe it's not a stretch. Maybe Miona's a... Feisty. Yeah, I hope not. I hope you guys don't get in a big fight or she calls you stupid or something. But you know. <laughs> did you just say you hope she doesn't call me stupid? Oh. <laughs> either, either. <coughs> excuse me. Either Jeebree's like, you know, just wants to be passive, wants to move on from this topic, or he actually kind of thinks as a, there's a possibility to that, and that's a little concerning. I think yeah, maybe we'll see. She's used to that Balkan Eastern European way. Of- yeah, maybe there is a chance of that. That's gonna be bad. That's gonna be pretty bad. Talking, they have a whole different communication style. It's your un- discomfort. Okay, so so that's fine about like being direct. I'm right. very direct too. Yeah. yeah, but that doesn't mean that I want to be insulted. Ooh, I don't want that. Would be bad. Great for the show. But bad for them. I, I don't know. I want to like Miona. Yeah, I want you to like start. her too. My family does not know what to think of Miona. They only see the social media profiles. So I hope they can give her some time and get to know the real Miona like I do. Ooh, we'll see. We'll see. That's tough. Um... Jibri seems like a cool guy so far. You know, you again, it's it's tough because like you you want to be like, well, this is what I know about Miona. She's like giving him grief about how she wants to live in L.A. and she doesn't want to live where he's currently living because she does it. She wants a big city lifestyle. She's called him stupid on Facetime in front of her mom. Whether or not she knew that Jibri's mom was in the room or whatever, I don't know. And she re- wears revealing clothes, which is I mean, whatever. That's I don't even know why I said that. It literally doesn't matter <clears throat> as far as who she is as a person. <clears throat> but um, the LA thing, well, at least she's being honest. She's being upfront about what she wants. The stupid thing, though, that one is a bit different. The fact that Jiri doesn't know for sure, like he's almost trying to like prime his mom for like, you know, it's just a communication style. She called you a stupid dumb bimbo, but you know, did you just a uh, Eastern European, you know, they're very direct. That's like the most concerning thing. Um, oh, here they are. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, I just, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening. Because we don't know much about her, right? Like the other stuff you can say. Like I guess the two flaws that maybe her mom sees is like I said, revealing that I mean that doesn't that doesn't I mean, that's just that's what she wants to do that's that's her life. Living in L.A. and and being um, persistent and um, like almost not willing to compromise with Jibri. Well, you know what? She's already oh, she's still over there and she's being upfront and honest about what she wants before she comes to the United States. So like at least you can give her kudos for being honest. However. Name calling, calling him stupid. I don't know what the context is, but the fact that Jibri is not sure if he's going to say the same to his mom. That's the bingo. That's going to be the one that entertains us the most. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so we'll see what this, how this develops. 
Jibri seems like a cool dude so far. We don't really know much about Miona other than what, um, I guess, what other people are saying about her in the show. So, we will definitely see. Anyway, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I will be covering other 90 Day Fiance clips from the channel. Um, if you're interested in seeing like something totally not 90 Day Fiance, I am totally down. You can like, if you want me to check it out, so I can like watch it and react to it and we can talk about it. You can put it in the description down, but not in the description, in the comment section down below. You can't leave links though. So like maybe just tell me what's a YouTube search on YouTube. Um, but yeah, in general, if you're like, let me know if you're down to watch um, like me reacting to other stuff or it's just strictly 90 day fiance gang. And that's okay too. Uh, but yeah, if you liked the video, don't forget to get to like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.